Sir Francis Galton developed his so-called bean machine to show how normal distributions come along in populations of biological organisms. So he, he made a machine like this. If you put your beans through here, then at or at each nail, they have a 50% chance to go to the left, 50% chance to go to the right. And because of that, they develop a normal distribution. So here is the idea again. The beans come and they hit nails at random, and so they develop a normal distribution. We are going to simulate that with a VBA. And I made a VBA code that I gave a shortcut control shift B. And this is the outcome after a lot of runs. And this shows how these are distributed. So in other words, what we have to do is show how that VBA code works. Let me just empty this and do another simulation. I'm going to clear the content and we start all over again. I just keep holding Control Shift B and you will see that it gradually builds up and in the chart or in the graph you will see that it's more or less a normal distribution. Not in the beginning of course because randomness has a much bigger impact but eventually it will all be normally distributed. Again, that's what we are simulating. All you have to know now is how did we do that with Visual Basic. So we go to Visual Basic, Alt F11. And we start in there a new module. And I happen to call it sub beans and sub. We declare a series of variables three of the integer type, of the range type, and two of the integer type. Then we start in cell L1, so we set O start to that range. We give it a color index of 15, or whatever number you choose. And then we set O previous one to O start, and we are going to do that for 10 rows. So R equals 1 through 10, next R. And inside that run, we are going to decide each time if a random number is greater than 0.5. The random number is between 0 and 1, so that is a 50% chance. Then we add 1 to the column number, otherwise we subtract 1 from the column number. Then we set O next to where we had started, the cells, and offset them by R rows and C columns. So the first time that is an offset to the next row and the column will be 1 or minus 1. Then we put a number in O next plus 1. We set the color index of O next to 15 and we set the previous one to 0 and then we set O previous to O next and then finally at the bottom we add 1 to O next, after we have done the 10 rows. And that's all there is to it. It looks very simple, but it does a fantastic job. So again, if I empty what it did in previous runs, and I set that to clear the content, we could do that with VBA2 of course, but let's just do it manually. And then you just hold Control shift b and it will, in the beginning, it will look weird probably, but after a while you will see that it comes closer and closer to the normal distribution. And notice that here in the middle row we will find the highest concentration, and then to the left and to the right it will decrease, decrease, so finally at the end we happen to have two there, but we have nothing there yet until we keep going and going and going. It could take a while, but it will eventually also fill up, of course, but it's very unlikely that that cell to the far to the left will be filled.